According to a report by the Equal Justice Initiative, there were 4,084 racially motivated lynchings in 12 southern states between 1877 and 1950. Lynchings were used as a weapon of terror against African Americans during this period. African Americans could be murdered for any number of supposed crimes, such as refusing to step off the sidewalk when a white person walked by. Ida B. Wells was born into slavery during the Civil War, and her parents died when she was 16, forcing her to find work as a teacher to support her five siblings. And yet, despite these obstacles, she is known today for her courage and tenacity as an African American female journalist who exposed lynching as a criminal act of terror. Her journalism exposed the false accusations and miscarriages of justice that underlay lynchings and the complicity of authorities in unofficially sanctioning them. In Memphis, a mob, angered at her articles, destroyed her printing press and threatened to kill her. Wells moved to Chicago, but she would not be deterred. She continued to work against lynching and advocated for a federal law against it. She also worked for the right of women to vote and lived to see the passage of the 19th Amendment in 1920, although African Americans were routinely denied the right to vote until the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. This has been 60 Second Civics, a podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage.